And tonight we're hearing from the family of a 13-year-old girl who was shot while watching TV with her siblings. Kelly, an innocent person impacted by gun violence here, and this girl is not even from here, we're told. Was she visiting? Yeah, Jason, she was visiting from South Carolina. Her aunt does tell, tell me she is going to physically be okay. She's stable at the hospital after having the bullet removed from her shoulder during surgery. But police say this all started when a man was trying to run from the shooters. The family inside the home was not the intended target. Well, they took a bullet out of there. He took a bullet out of there, up there. 16 years in her southwest Philadelphia home, Adrian Brown says she never imagined what happened early this morning. Man, I've never seen nothing like that in my 65 years. Brown says her 13-year-old niece and her siblings were visiting from South Carolina, watching TV around 1 a.m. Tuesday morning when they heard gunfire. It sounded like pop, 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 pop. She was sitting in that chair and her brother was sitting in this chair. He jumped up and ran, but when she got up, that's when she got shot. All I heard her was yelling at, I'm Cookie, I'm shot, I'm shot. And I just started screaming. Police rushed the girl to CHOP. Brown says doctors removed the bullet from her shoulder and she's going to be okay. Philadelphia police say a man was being chased by the shooters down 66th. He tried to open the door of a nearby bar, then ran to the Browns' home on 65th. Brown says the man used to date her granddaughter years ago. He did speak with police. He seen our light on. He ran here and he just pushed in. And when he pushed in, they started shooting. It was a black car. They rolled down the windows. All my nephews said they seen two guns and they just started shooting. I guess them was the first five shots. Brown now has to clean up her bullet-riddled home. You're supposed to be safe in your house. She's grateful her niece is okay, but can't help but think about how much worse this could have been. These people are crazy out here. They don't value life. It don't make no sense. They just shoot up. I mean, we got babies in here, kids in here, animals in here. It don't make no sense. Now, police do not have any information on the vehicle involved in this shooting. There are a number of cameras in the area. Anybody with information is asked to call police. All Jason. Right, Kelly, thank you very much. President